Hey there, it's Michael Bust. Welcome back to my channel where I share videos uh, specifically made for my Math 7 and Pre-Algebra students. So here we go. Everybody's favorite segment, Dath Jokes. Why was the obtuse angle always frustrated? Because he was never right. <laughs> okay, in example one, we're going to evaluate the expression two times n plus three if n equals negative 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute negative 4 for my variable of n. So I'm going to write it as 2 times the quantity of negative 4 plus 3. Now, negative 4 plus 3, I'm going to do that first, and negative 4 plus 3 is going to be negative 1. So now, all I have to do is multiply these two factors, and I get negative 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. In example 2, now we have uh, two variables. Uh, so we have a w and a v. So I'm going to substitute 5 for my variable w and 3 for the variable v. So I'm going to rewrite it as 8 times 5 minus 2 times 3. So 8 times 5 is 40 minus 2 times 3, which is 6. And 40 minus 6 is 34. In example 3, we have something a little bit more complicated because now we have the variable y raised to the third power. So I'm going to write it as 4 times 3, which is what y equals, to the third power, plus 2. Now, according to the order of operations, I need to do my exponents first. So I'm going to take my base of 3, and I'm going to raise it to the third power. So I'm going to rewrite it as 4 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is the same as 3 to the third power. Then I'm going to add 2 to that. Now I have to do what's in the parentheses first. So I'm going to do 4 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. And then I'm going to add 2 onto that. All right, 4 times 27. That's the part I have to do first. So 4 times 27 is 108. And then I'm going to take my plus 2 to get my total, which is 110. Four, I've got this formula that athletic trainers will use to figure out somebody's maximum training heart rate. So I'm going to substitute 15 for the variable a, and then I'm going to rewrite the expression as 3 times the quantity 220 minus 15 divided by 5. So then I'm going to have 3 times 205 and then I'm going to divide that by 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 3 times 205, and that's going to give me a product of 615. I'm going to divide 615 by 5, and that's going to give me a quotient. My answer is going to be 100 and 23. There you go.
In example five, Maria wants to purchase a DVD player. It's gonna cost her $150. Now we already know that she has saved $25. And then she's going to save an additional $10 every week. So to write this expression, I'm gonna start out with whatever she already has, which is $25. And then I'm going to add on to this whatever she saves per week. And I'm going to define my variable w as the number of weeks. So I can continue with my expression by saying 25 plus 10, which is gonna be $10, times the number of weeks. And that is my expression uh, for this example. I'm gonna use this expression again in the next example. From the previous problem, I've got this expression of 25 plus 10w. So $25 that she's already saved plus the $10 that she's gonna save every week. And what I wanna find out is, will she have enough money to purchase this $150 DVD player after 11 weeks? So I'm gonna substitute 11 for my variable w, which is gonna be the number of weeks. So I'm going to have 25 plus 10 times 11, which is 110, and 25 plus 110 is $135. Unfortunately, after 11 weeks, Maria will not have enough money to buy this DVD player. So sad. Tear. And don't forget, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more math tutorial videos.